What's going on guys and welcome back to Airport CEO. Last episode was kind of a cliffhanger and we had just had a bunch of people walking in for their small flight. Now, if we go down here, it looks like most of the larger flight has now shown up. So yes, this episode is going to be about basically stress testing our airport to make sure that we can handle all of this capacity because as you can see, we have a lot of flights lined up for today, so yes, they should be, you know, a pretty good indicator of what we're going to need because throughout the week we have more and more flights kind of scheduled out until, uh, I, I guess, Wednesday we got three and then Thursday we got like one. So we'll have to schedule more, but we'll see how that all goes after we've, you know, gone through these first couple days and we'll see what happens. Now we have our medium or a small class flight in. And this should be unloading, and yeah, it looks all good. We have the baggage cart over here, and the next baggage cart should be coming up. Now, I actually got a, a comment in the last episode about something about repairing my depot, but depots don't need to be repaired, so that looks all good. Now, yeah, I did want to come over here, and I guess we'll wait for a, a big flight to come through, because I want to see which of these we can delete, because there's no reason we need three of these little runway ramps onto this runway so we'll take probably this one out and then on this side uh maybe this one and uh that should be all good now our general aviation flights have been going fairly well from what i can tell so no complaints over here i'm just very curious as to if these uh taxiways are all sorted out and lined up because as you can recall we oh look at that we actually have the dots back on the runway so it looks like everything is lined up and ready to go last episode we actually didn't have those dots on the runways. anyway it looks like all of our service trucks are done doing their tasks this one's actually gonna head back toward the depot and what's going on here we have service round in progress uh, baggage loading in progress and that is not started because the bags probably haven't really got up to here just yet or maybe the service truck is getting around to that now, so that's all good. How is everything going down here? Now, as you can see, we actually have two of our little check-in clerks down here, so this is moving quickly, which is really awesome. And it looks like our security is flowing nicely, no real backups down here. So, yeah, it looks like our airport can at least handle the one medium flight. Now, I just realized that we have way too many construction guys here, so let's go ahead and send some of those guys home. And we have 84 still here, and I'm thinking we should probably just dismiss all of them. And then if we start a construction project this episode, we'll go ahead and call a few back. But uh, I don't really foresee us doing any of that. If I'm being honest, I mean, we really have no need for anything. And it looks like our general aviation is just backing up here. Now, this could be a concern. And it's just really a concern because we have, uh, like, this line right here only fits, like, two planes in this buffer zone. And this one is going somewhere. But I'm not really sure where it's going because it's facing this way. And uh, maybe it just got, like, flipped around or something. But, uh... Yeah, we may have to deal with that, and that might just be... I, I, honestly, I have no idea how to deal with that. Maybe we put the the taxiway up to here or something, and maybe it copes with it. So yeah, that one was just there. But look, we've got our first medium-class flight, and he is taxiing over to the gate. And he, is, of course, is going to clip through. No, he's not. He's actually just narrowly going to miss our ATC tower. So uh, that, at least that's good. Now, he's going to, I believe this gate yes because we have a bunch of people waiting around this ready to board but they'll be waiting a little bit because we still have to unboard all of these people is that the right term deboard unboard unload all the passengers off the plane and get the service round in order and all that kind of good stuff so yeah that's looking good it's looking like everything's running smoothly including the frame rate of the game now we do have a lot of income coming in, which is really nice, and that should even go up because we just had a plane land, and we're getting $22 every time somebody steps off the plane. We have a an alert up here, passenger can't claim their bag, and why is that? I don't really know. Everything looks good on our end, I believe. Yeah, no bags are stuck anywhere on the line from what I can tell. Um... 
I'm not sure what happened. Anyway, uh, it's looking like everybody is walking down off the plane and over to the baggage claim. And did I just know? I thought I saw this plane back out and go toward the taxiway. Now, uh, this one is going up toward the runway. And I forgot to, to check to see where that medium flight gets off the runway. So for the next flight, we'll have to go ahead and check that out. And that one will be heading in uh, around, what is this, 12.15? So it's about four hours from now, so we'll just have to remember to check that out. Um, let's go ahead and see. It looks like we have plenty of the gate agents or ramp agents on hand, so that's not really a big concern. I love that all of the passengers are roaming down this way and toward the baggage claim. And it looks like a lot of them are enjoying our comfy couches that we've placed all around this place just to have them sit. Although some of them are opting to go over here. Now it's looking like some of them actually don't have bags to claim. So they're just headed straight out to the bus stands where they're going to be waiting for their exit bus. And uh, yeah, that's all good. But it looks like the bags should be, there they are. They are finally unloaded and they are heading down this way. now. This is very inefficient, I think, as you can see. I mean, the, the tilt tray is taking its nice little time to try to tilt and, you know, sort all these bags out. So this gets backed up, which is kind of worrisome for the future. We may want to adjust where that is or do something to, like, add a buffer zone to that. Because I'm worried if we put another baggage bay, like, right here and it just goes straight onto here. What happens when those bags get backed up? You know, if they back up all the way to the baggage bay, are they going to cause issues? I'm not sure. And it looks like we got a bunch of bags here. And I don't know what they're all for. Are they for this one? It looks like, yes, they are, in fact, going onto this plane, which is not started yet, which is curious because there should be a free baggage. Why are you all the way down here? A service truck all the way down here. Maybe it had to come all the way down here to turn around, which is interesting. So we may want to put a road like right here or something just to have like a small turnaround area because I've been watching this and over time it looks like the service truck if it comes up to here to like drop this off and it's coming this way it comes over to here and like turns around over here so I feel like that's inefficient oh actually it's coming in right now so yes this just took the longest possible route over to here which is um, definitely concerning we should maybe look at that so yeah like I was saying it comes all the way out here to turn around it here, so it's not actually cutting across the lanes, which is uh, inefficient and I guess unrealistic if you ask me, but whatever. Anyway, it looks like the this may actually get delayed, which is not good because everyone's boarding and their bags are not yet on their plane. So I'm wondering why the second service truck didn't come out to do this task. That's very strange to me, but I think we should maybe try to fix that by adding a road in here. Now to do that, we're going to need to go ahead and hire a couple more of those contractors back on. So let's go ahead and grab about five of them just because that should be enough. It's not overkill. And after you dismiss all of those contractors, you get so much money rolling in, especially because we have so many people right now that are just, you know, waiting in our terminal. So there we go. I'm thinking... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Right here and then right here. Hopefully that's a nice little loop. Now, I actually got a comment at one point in this series that said, just put one lane of traffic down. They'll treat it as a one-way. And from what I've read and seen, that's not actually how it works. Like, the trucks get very confused when you do that, and they'll just... They'll try to go both ways on one single tile of road and then just get jammed up. So, that's why we're... You know, we have two lanes throughout this entire place. Now... I'm fully expecting that this is going to get uh, delayed at some point, and it's because the bag situation, like we said, but uh, what time is it supposed to go out? 11.10, and it is... Oh, you know what? I think we're on time. We should be okay as long as our ramp agents can get in here and get these going. Now, what I'm kind of wondering is if we should get maybe one more of these service trucks. And this one's actually coming out now. I really wish they didn't come back to this depot. And I'm strongly considering maybe deleting this depot and just having this one because it, it would make all of our trucks have to go to here. And it's way more important for us to get these flights out in time. So if the general aviation Avgas truck 
takes a while to get from here to there. It's not really that big of a concern to me. And to be honest, we could actually get a service road up to here, through here, and across this taxiway out to here. So that's a possibility. Uh, this taxiway situation, again, is kind of concerning. I'm strongly considering deleting this part and then uh, looping it kind of up to here. Even though the route's more inefficient, it gives a little bit more of a buffer zone. So, all right, our first medium flight actually did clip through the uh, the tower this time, but that's fine. Uh, it's actually gonna just miss our service area on the end of the terminal. So yeah, that's, that's cutting it close, but that's fine for us for now. Now, this should go to this little entrance and then take off. So I'm excited to see that. And again, we get the passenger cannot claim their bag. And he is in this stack full of uh, passengers. I guess it's like a mass of passengers right here. But it, it looks like it says they can't claim them, and yet they just leave anyway. So I'm not sure if that negatively affects us. I'm sure it probably should. And did that actually move up to here? I don't think so, because it just did a 180. I really should have been paying attention to that. And actually, having these trees in here is kind of concerning. Now, a real airport would not have trees anywhere near the runway. And that's for a couple reasons. First of all, you don't want the trees going onto the runway, you know, growing over. But also because bird strikes are a very, very real thing in an airport. And you do not want a bird getting into the turbo prop of like a plane or like into a jet engine that's just that's bad news and it's very expensive and could be catastrophic so you know yeah let's go ahead and delete some of these trees just to make things a little bit more realistic around here uh it, it's again it's not that big of an importance to us but you know this tree right here on these landing lights that's that's not even cool like that is not even close to being uh, a realistic situation we have not a lot going on this episode. We're just kind of monitoring everything at this point. And it looks like everything's going well. Now let's go ahead and check our um, check our shops a little bit here. And we've gotten 81 sales so far. This expires in two days. So I'm hoping everything's going to be good for that. And then this shop has 19 of 1,600 sales for a total revenue of 1,500 bucks. That's pretty cool. But uh, before we miss it, let's go over to the large runway, and we should have a big flight coming in uh, within the next 10-ish minutes. So let's go ahead and speed the game up here, and we are due for an arrival, and there it is. It just touched down. We get $2,500, which is awesome, and it looks like it's stopping here and going this way. So yes, we can delete this right here, which is going to be good for us. I've, I want to go into the taxiway editor real fast, though, and delete that and then I think I want to delete this as well and then once that's gone reconnect it up that should be good I think now if that one landed on that on the white stripes there we could maybe move these all together which is probably an idea we could do that for sure so let's do that after we connect this back up and then you know what, let's delete this one for now, and then we'll we'll go ahead and connect that back up properly. But yes, for now, this is going to go right onto this runway, and I hope, I really hope we didn't just screw over the runway by deleting the points that were already connected to it. Uh, it's, it's questionable. I don't know. It's a very questionable decision here. So, all right, well, let's put our holding points back in here and in here. And let's go ahead and flip those around because runway ahead should be reading this way. This one we can do away with and let's bring that back to here. And even though it's not a runway ahead, it still says it as a runway ahead, which I don't know if that's like proper or not for like an airport. Anyway, let's go ahead and monitor what this plane does. Let's go ahead and speed the game up and we'll just watch and see where it goes in. Hopefully it's going to come in up here, right? No, still up there interesting really don't know why it's doing that yeah hopefully that solves itself so we still have a passenger cannot claim their bag situation now i guess i'm going to turn this over to you guys if you know anything to, as to why that is happening let me know any suggestions even if it's wrong i'll go ahead and take a look but it it just it should not be doing that for whatever reason like all of our bags 
have a clear path to the baggage claim area. There's really nothing that's obstructing anything. And it just seems like they don't wait around for their bag. And then they're just like, eh, screw it, I couldn't find it. And then they get on a bus. So really don't know what's going on there. You guys can let me know if you think you know <laughs> what's going on there. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can figure that all out. But we are going to go through and demolish these little taxiway foundations in here and then prep to get the taxiways rebuilt out to where they need to be. Well, this one is where it needs to be. This one is the one we need to bring out to the proper spot. Now, I don't know why this isn't proper, like over here, why this isn't doing the proper, you know, it should be going up this way and getting onto the runway this way. Now, maybe it's one too far back. Maybe it needs to be to this one. I don't really know. But we could always lay some more taxiway foundations in here and try to figure it out. It may have something to do with, uh, see, yeah, I don't know. I think it has something to do with the upgrade. So, because the taxiway node is kind of screwed up right now, if I toggle it off, this one stays here. I don't know why it stays there. So, let's go in and try to delete it and see if that works now. So, that should just go away. Yeah. No, it's still going to be that. Well, technically the line's gone, but the little dot's still there. So what if I go in here and turn it off? Nope. Still there. So interesting. I don't know what's going on with that. We might have to delete this runway and put it back in, which sucks because it's like probably a $200,000 runway. I think because of all the upgrades we did, because how much is an upgrade? 20 grand. So we did, I think, one that way and two that way. So... That's 60000 So, yeah, it's like $160,000 because I do believe a runway is uh, $100,000. I'm just watching, and it looks like this plane is holding here for this plane to go. So, that's very courteous of you. I guess there'd be no other option for you to go that way anyway. So, that's cool. But I think I want to fix this. And I think to do that, I want to delete this and then take the taxiway up to here so yeah even though it's going to be extremely inefficient for us it's going to give us a lot better of like a buffer zone around here now it's kind of curious that these planes are going up this way and i guess honestly it's not we need to connect this up to here so let's go ahead and do that right now so let's go ahead and grab our concrete uh taxiway tool put that in there and then we'll go ahead and draw this out to here ish and do we want to make it come all the way up here? I think so. Just because this is already existing up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's a little inefficient. I'm not going to lie. It's actually very inefficient. But that should alleviate a lot of this. So a lot of the planes are going to be coming from this way probably. And then trying to get onto this runway. Now we could possibly double up this runway and have a second one over here. One for just, like, just for landings and one just for takeoffs which could work or we could put a third runway in over here this way and then have all of the landings come down here and they just go into this and then I, I i don't know it could get really really messy and it's going to get really messy anyway but it's just uh yeah i, I don't really know if there's a good way to alleviate this other than taking always except general aviation off and then only accepting a few flights when we have the space. But to be honest, this isn't affecting our commercial flights at all. So I really don't mind that they have to wait so long to get on the runway. Uh, that said, they might mind, so our, our uh, reputation might go down. As you can see, we have general aviation at 3.9%. That is absurdly low. We should probably figure that out, and we are going to get figure that out soon. The airlines are at 50%. Not really sure what's going on there. It probably has to do with our fees, if I'm being honest. But I guess we have to deal with that for now. It might have something to do with this baggage situation. And I don't know. But I guess you guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, we're probably going to have to do something about all that. But are we near the end of the day? No. I do want to get through this day in this episode. Just because, you know, we've hyped it so much in the last episode. But uh, we should have two planes at our, our terminal right now, and we do, so that's good. Um, yeah, I want to get through this day just to kind of check and see everything. Everything looks like it's going well so far. The only problem that we are encountering is the baggage 
uh, the one person that seems like off of every plane that cannot locate their bag. And then they're gone, so now it just zooms me up to this, like, weird area past the runway. So that should go away. Hopefully that was just, like, a one-off situation. Maybe on the next plane, because we do have one more big plane coming in. Hopefully when that comes in, there won't be any issues. Now, do we want a third service truck? And I think... Yes, because let's be honest, they are not very expensive, I don't believe. We do have so much money coming in right now, it's kind of absurd. It's it's absurd in a good way, and our, our general aviation actually went down another, like, one point whatever percent it was at. I don't remember, it was like 3.2 or something. So, yeah, we have some issues there, but, uh, whatever. Let's go ahead, what was I gonna do? Oh, yes, uh, grab another one of these service trucks. And do you think we might need another Avgas truck? Maybe that's part of the problem. I'm not sure. Let's get one of these just to have one. Now, they're only $1,000 plus $25 an hour, so it's not like we can't handle that. Now, the medium class flight is now taxiing up to its runway. And hopefully it goes over here, please. Nope. Still over there. Interesting. Guys, if you know what's causing this, let me know. I, I have a hunch that it may be that this part of the runway is a little bit too far to the left. Like, if we do one taxiway node to the right, maybe that puts it perfectly in. The other issue is that maybe this node is just bugged. So, yeah, I really don't understand what's going on there. Um, hopefully we can figure that out. But, yeah, I, I guess I'll try to... I could try to figure that out in between episodes as well and then come back at you guys with a proper solution to that then again it might just be because early access you know I mean it's one of those things that you just got to deal with now so each flight actually only gets one check-in desk which is I you know what I think they probably do that in real life I haven't flown enough I know each airline has their own like line of check-in desks and I'd assume only one per flight is pretty accurate to the, you know, business. So that's interesting. I think if we really, really wanted to, we could expand these queues out a little bit. But to be honest, it really isn't that big of a concern. It's not like it's causing any sort of like backups or anything. Usually there's just a big pool of people down here in the walkway area, which, you know, it's fine. Uh, it does look like they're getting through on time, and that is a major concern, as always, but these queues are absurdly long at the security. It's so funny that they have to go through all of these queues to get up to there. I feel like if I had to do that in an airport, I'd get super mad, or, you know what, more realistically, I'd probably just go under, like, a line to get to the, to the back of the line. So, anyway, I guess, uh, they'll just deal with that. They are just little AI passengers, so they are gonna go through the entire queue system, which is cool. This flight is ready to take off, I believe. Nope, they're still boarding in progress, but the good thing is the bags have loaded on before the people got on. I feel like that's a very good way of... Is this the Avgas truck? Yes, yeah, so why are you coming over here? Ugh. I feel like that's the proper way the bags go on at the same time they're boarding or before, because... I, th I feel like when you get on a plane, you don't want to sit there on the ground forever. You want to get going. It's like a lot of people have anxiety and stress out over flying. So when they get into the cabin, they're just like, get off the ground. Get me to my destination as fast as possible. And I feel like sitting there waiting for the crew to board or to put all of the bags under the plane would just, you know, uh, some people would probably freak out. I'm not one of those people, actually. I really love flying. For whatever reason, I feel like it's a really cool feat of uh, mankind or something. <laughs> I don't know. But it's just, uh, it's cool. I like it. And to me, it's very safe. And I have no stress over flying whatsoever. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out this last flight of the day coming into the terminal now. And did I? Yes, I did. I actually went through and renamed all of these gates. So this one is gate 1A. This one is 1B and C, D, E should be this last one. Yes. So that is one. When we go ahead and put these gates in, they will be 2A, B, C, D, E. So I like that kind of naming scheme. Now, 
it looks like we got a notification and the passenger cannot claim their bag. So yes, don't know what's causing that. Uh, any suggestions uh, are greatly appreciated. And it looks like we have our first late flight of the day. Let's go ahead and delay that one. Was that this one? Why are you delayed? I, I feel like you are. No, you're not. Why are you? Maybe you are. And is it because one person's not on the plane? No, it's all set, ready to go. Is this one late? This one just might be late. 1800, it's now 1826. Uh, no, it looks like everything is good. I don't know what flight was just delayed, but this one could actually take off now if it wanted to. Is there a way to force it to take off? I don't think you can. You can dismiss the aircraft. Should we? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get you taking off. You are all set, no reason for you to hang around. And it's looking like the final uh, flight of the day is in. The cart is here, taking all of the bags off. This is a, what is this? A CRJ-700 class aircraft. It's a jet. And it is taking off at 2200 hours, which is what? 10 o'clock at night? Uh, yes, I'm not in the military time that much, but uh, I think I can do simple math. Let's go ahead and make sure everything is going good here. And it looks like everything's fine. We still, we don't have another uh, notification, but we do have a generic notification. J Flight did not receive the requested service. Your rating has decreased. Interesting. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it's because of the service rounds. That is an issue that we may have to take care of. So the general aviation flights might be coming in and requesting service from us. And if that happens, there's no way for our service techs to get over here because they are going to have to walk through all of this. Now to do that, they would have to then use some crosswalks. And I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do that would be. And I'm thinking we could put a crosswalk like here, a path down to here, crosswalk here, crosswalk there, a crosswalk across that taxiway, and then up to here, and then into all of these. That may be something that we should do, because I don't know if these need services, and I, I, it looks like they can get maintenance, I just don't know if they're requesting it, and if they are, it is obviously that that is causing all of our issues. Now, I feel like the backup on the general aviation runway is probably a part of our issue, and it's part of the reason that our general aviation <laughs> ah, our rating is down to 0.8%. Not 8, 0.8. Yeah, we're going to have to fix that. So uh, I guess that's going to be in the next episode. This one was nice and uh, fulfilling, I guess, after that cliffhanger on the last one. So... Yes, it looks like we don't have any major issues with our airport. The only issue is the person cannot claim their bag, which I think is maybe just a bug in the game. Really, don't know what's going on. We do have the bug with the runway. Try to sort that out. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and try to get our general aviation back up to above 1%. That's the goal. So, guys, if you like this episode, go ahead. Give me a thumbs up if you disliked it. Thumbs down, of course. All of the suggestions in the comments help me fix what's going wrong. I don't know what's going on. Until next time, guys, I will see you back here in Airport CEO.